one of nature's apex killing machines and the most feared of all mammals. With an average weight of 800 pounds and length of 8 feet, these monsters have no problem standing up to anything that crosses their path. Their weapons? 5 inch long curved claws, a mouth sporting 2 inch teeth, and a bite force of about 1,160 pounds. But still, these animals can kill a grizzly bear in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Hippos. Is all of that ability enough to let a grizzly bear win in a fight with a hippo? Not a chance. If they were to get in a fight, the hippo wins hands down. Hippos are significantly larger than grizzly bears and are speedy themselves. The hippo is protected with its tough skin from the bear's teeth and claws, allowing it to use its large size, around 10 times that of a grizzly bear, to defeat the bear. Rhinos The largest bear is on average still much smaller than a rhino. A rhino's horn can pierce the metal on a car door, much tougher than the flesh on a bear. A bear hitting a rhino with its claws wouldn't do enough damage to spot if hit, if it does any real harm at all. And its powerful jaws will only do anything if it bites around the neck, which it's not going to since it goes anywhere near the front of the rhino, it will get gored or trampled. Bison I'd even pick a cow bison over a grizzly. As powerful as the bears are, they're not big game specialists, although in some rare occasions they do take down large prey. Against an animal as large and aggressive as a bison, the bear will be outclassed completely. A charging bison can repeatedly gore the bear until it dies. The powerful claws of the bear is not enough to stop the bison. Large bovids are always a bad match for bears. Polar bear Several such fights have actually been observed. And who won? The grizzly every time. Polar bears are on average significantly bigger, and as obligate predators, also more experienced in killing. And yet, the grizzly still won. The reason turns out to be attitude. Polar bears, it turns out, are just much more cautious and reluctant when it comes to fighting. This makes some sense given their lifestyle. Polar bears only eat in the winter, on the sea ice, and they fast for most of the rest of the year. As such, they are very judicious about expending calories in unnecessary fighting during the summer months. And it is only during those times that they are likely to encounter grizzlies. Silverback Gorilla I would give this one to the bear. They can take a lot of damage and dish out lots of it as well. Now, for those of you who would argue for the gorilla, gorillas truly aren't that strong. They are stronger than a human, but a grizzly is still stronger. An example of gorillas not being all that strong is of course their constant fights with leopards. In these fights, it can go both ways. Sometimes the gorilla wins, sometimes the leopard wins, or sometimes both. The bottom line here is that a leopard is already a major threat to a gorilla, and a leopard doesn't come close to this guy. A grizzly bear is a 360 kilogram, 800 pounds, 7 feet tall hulking beast. It is very strong and also very fast, more than 40 miles per hour. I'm afraid that both the leopard and the gorilla lose hard against a grizzly bear. A bear flattens a gorilla. So bow down to the might of the bear. Crocodile. While better armored than the bear, the crocodile has only one weapon, its jaws. Actually, the Nile crocodile needs no other tool because it has the strongest bite force on the planet. In addition, they are strong enough to pull prey, weighing over a ton into the water. In water, crocodile wins for sure. On land, well, this would be tight, but I would give it to the bear. The bear can try attacking from behind, though the long body of the croc 
means that the bear would only have access to the tail, a rather useless target. However, because the bear has legs, which it can utilize for the offensive and defensive, it provides the creature with an advantage. A head-on attack by the bear would certainly result in a terrible wound. The battle would be over soon, because the bear would bite and strike the cock's head, though the position of the cock's head would be difficult to strike. Tiger It's easy to see why Siberian tigers would be able to kill bears due to their size, strength, and power. In Russia, Usury brown bears and Siberian tigers come into conflict, and tigers even hunt the bears, which make up 1.4% of their diet. During telemetry research, 44 direct confrontations between the two predators were observed, in which bears were killed in 22 cases and tigers in 12 cases. This shows that if a tiger is hungry, it won't hesitate in attacking a bear. So that's all for now. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any updates from Amazing World.